guys welcome back to my channel so today I am coming to you with a collaboration with the beautifully talented purple eye AVI so she and I decided that we were going to get together uh, and come up with a spring look using the urban decay electric palette we just thought you know this palette really doesn't get enough shine and I think Partly because a lot of people don't know what to do with this palette. The colors are so vibrant and they're so electric, uh, hence the name electric palette, that it can be a little intimidating. And I, I gotta say, the first look I came up with, I was like, wah, wah. I had to take it all off and do it all over again. So this is what I came up with. I'm using two colors out of the palette. The rest of the colors, my transition colors are, are uh, matte colors. I finally got my hands on that back of highlight of y'all. What? Yes, I did. I know I am behind the eight ball, but I got it. Mm. Mm. What? Anyway, I digress. To the left, to the left. I digress. So, I am going to put a link directly to AV's video in the description box below. Make sure you go and check her out. Let her know that I sent you. Give her a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you'd like to know how I created this look, you know what you gotta do, you gotta stay tuned. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Until next time, ladies, take care of yourselves, and God bless. Bye. All right, ladies, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with the Benefit Stay Matte Primer. I love, love, love this primer. I've had it forever. This little sample I've had forever. And I love it. So then I am going to go into Makeup Forever's uh, Clown White because we are using the electric palette and we want those colors to really show up and be really vibrant. So I'm gonna add that to my lids and I'm not gonna take it above my crease. And just place that on the lid and blend it out to make sure it's nice and smooth so that our shadows will go on nice. So the first color I'm gonna pick up is MAC Soft Brown and that's gonna be my first transition color. And that's a Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm going to go on the rice paper, and that's going to be my brow bone highlight. The usual soft brown rice paper. So you all know about this uh, brush cleaner, right? It really does work. So now I'm going to go into brown script, and that's going to be my second transition color. Um, and I'm just placing that right into the crease. And if it gets all over the lid, it's all good because we're going to go over that with another color anyway. So just blending. I'm going to reapply a little bit more of that Makeup Forever Clown White. Some of the shadow took over. So um, the color that I'm going into placing on my lids is Freak. And I'm just going to continue to pack that on to my lid until I get the desired color payoff that I want. And I've packed on quite a bit. Don't remember the name of this brush. I wanna say that this is a crown brush um, that I got from Hope Look. Check out Hope Look, y'all. Uh, sometimes they have really, really, really good um, makeup brands on sale. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna go back into Brown Script. I think that was Brown Script, yeah. Um, brown Script, and I'm just going to um, blend out my crease and the top of that freak that we laid down. I'm going to put a little bit more on my lids because of course with blending you lose some of that lid color. So let's reapply. So now I'm going to go into fringe. And initially I picked this up on a smaller um, tapered blending brush to put on the outer corner, the outer half of my eye. Um, so I was just kind of trying to work that in the outer corner and then I figured, you know what, I need to use a flat shader brush for this. Um, so I moved into a flat shader brush to apply that color. Then I went back 
to the smaller tapered blending brush just blend those two colors and marry those two colors together um, it looks messy now I promise you at the end it's all going to be fabulous so now I'm going into Foley and I just wanted to dark darken the outer corner of the eye and bring a little depth and dimension to the eye um, just with the blue on the outer corner just wasn't doing it for me so um, I'm taking Foley I didn't want to go with a bark that was too dark I just wanted a little hint of um, darkness there so um, I went with Foley and that is going uh, on the very outer half um, outer V and um, into my crease as well Sorry, I had a little moment, y'all. I know, and that, that's not sexy, right? I was missing my baby. He just called to tell me he was boarding the plane to go to Nicaragua, and I just, I had a little breakdown. So, um, forgive me for my tears. That is not sexy. It looked like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> it's not sexy. <laughs> but I love my baby and I miss him. So, I just blended those colors out, and now I'm cleaning out any fallout that I may have had wasn't a lot but just right under my eyes I'm gonna put on my liner and my lashes and I'm gonna start with my face so this is my favorite product you know what it is it's prep and prime and that is to correct the dark circles under my eyes and around my mouth this is prep and prime in the color peach luster and I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender I'm gonna wet it with um elf's uh, uh is it elf yeah elf's lock and seal or whatever it's called <clears throat> and I'm just gonna blend that out now I'm gonna try this new Becca foundation so I've been on this Becca kick um, this is the matte one and I'm applying that with my Sedona lace flat top kabuki brush I really really like this foundation um, I have the other one the ultimate coverage and I don't like it it's way too light I'm gonna put up a video um, of me using that um, and I really had to work on darkening that so um, my under eye concealer I didn't show you but it was LA girl uh, in fawn I'm setting that with Laura Mercier now I'm going to um, sculpt my my face and chisel my cheekbones I'm using blush to cont blush I'm using Max Blunt to contour my cheekbones as well as my nose. That's a Sedona lace brush that I'm using on my nose. I love that brush to contour my nose. It's like perfect. It's angled so it gets right up, up in the corner of your eye, your eyebrows. <clears throat> so I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to take some of that Laura Mercier powder and put it right under my contour because I want that to be a little sharper. I could be a little messy when I'm contouring so um, I wanted this to be really really sharp and if I'm looking over in the corner I'm looking at my screen so forgive me I'm just trying to make sure I'm in focus and don't mind the background I am still working on my room um, it is a work in progress <laughs> so hopefully the next video you see um, the wallpaper will be complete so I'm just going back in with blunt and I'm just touching up my contour. I'm going to go around um, my temples and my forehead. I never do this. Like I never contour my forehead and my temples. And I should because I, I got a 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 head. Like it's disgusting. So I'm just brushing off the excess powder now. I'm going in with my favorite setting powder and that is Ben Nye and Nutmeg on my uh sigma fluffy brush now i am going in with that becca opal highlighter what yes yes that was my reaction what yes honey finally got it i'm going into a cargo blush it's orange it's called laguna absolutely love 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 that brush um that blush um, that's a Real Techniques blush brush. So I'm just going to throw that blush on the cheeks. Let's do the other one. 
I am really feeling this highlighter, y'all. Like, I put that jammy on and I was like, what? Look, I'm still putting it on. <laughs> like, I think I need just a little bit more. Just a little. Yeah, this, I can see why this is all rave. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the uh, electric palette. And the same colors that I have on my eyes, I'm going to put on my waterline. So the first color I'm going to go in uh, with is fringe. And that's going to go on the outer half of my eye. I'm going into about a third of the way. Then I'm going to pick up, uh, what did I pick up? Freak. And I put that. Um, on the inner half and then I picked up thrash and I put thrash in my inner tear duct over thrash I went in with shimmer shimmer by makeup geek I am uh, lining my lips with uh, chestnut yes not vino chestnut and I am going in with a wet and wild lippy that is 902 C I believe I want to say it's 902C, 902C, I think it is. Um, but I'll put it in the description box below. <clears throat> so after I apply that, I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Gloss. Um, I want to say this is in the color Nude um, or Brown. I will put that in the description box. Uh, I absolutely love this lip gloss. I was addicted to it at one point. It has a minty smell to it. Um, I love it. Um, so I'm just going to put that on the lippy lip lips just to give me some shine and tone that 902C down just a little bit. Give me more of a neutral, natural, brownish, pinky tone, if that makes sense. I hope it does. I'm just going to reapply some liner just to give me a little uh, definition on my bottom lip. Yeah, still reapplying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still reapplying. And that is it. I really, really, really enjoy doing this, this makeup look. I enjoyed this collab with my girl Purple Eye AVI. Ladies, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care of yourselves and God bless. Bye.